The Indiana Power and Light Company is shutting down its Eagle Valley Coal Power Plant in Martinsville in 2015. IPL plans to replace it with a new plant fired by natural gas. As WTIU Sevilla Man reports, the company hosted an open house in Martinsville Tuesday to give residents more information. The Eagle Valley Coal Plant, in operation since 1949, has fallen out of step with the Environmental Protection Agency's requirements for pollution control. The company says the gas-based plant it hopes to build would emit far fewer harmful chemicals and require 600-plus people to build the plant, giving a boost to the local economy. At Martinsville High School Tuesday evening, IPL spokesperson Brandy Davis-Handy said interest in the project is running high. There's a lot of local businesses here who are truly just want to know um, how could they maybe be a part of the project in terms of promoting their businesses to those temporary construction workers who are coming to town. We've, I've talked to people who are out of work who want to know how will we go about um, communicating the open positions um, within the new plant. Once completed, the natural gas plant would employ about two dozen people, approximately the same number as the coal plant. But the transition would not be immediate for Eagle Valley coal workers who want to stay on. IPL says the new plant would open in 2017, two years after the coal plant is scheduled to go dark. For Martinsville Mayor Phil Deckard, that doesn't diminish the importance of having a new plant. Yeah, we've been excited all along, and of course we were ecstatic the moment uh, they announced the press conference. It's going to be a great boom for it, not only Martinsville, but our entire Morgan County area. Martinsville resident Ruth Roussy remembers when the coal plant opened 64 years ago. She hopes a new plant will benefit the town schools like its predecessor. It has to help. In fact, I think the original schools we have, a lot of them were built for, because we did have the taxes from the original plant. IPL says if the plant does go forward, customers would see their yearly utility rates rise 2 to 3 percent until the cost of building the plant, an estimated $630 million, is paid off. Davis Handy says it could be almost another year before the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission makes its decision. For WTIU News, I'm Sevilla Mann.